Watching me sleep? I told you to wake me up whenever you got up. Come on. <sighs> well, whatever. Oh, I needed that nap so bad. How long has it been since we got to sleep in an inn? Like, ten days or something like that? Ugh. Those bedrolls we have are nice and everything, but... After about a week on them, I start getting real stiff. Ugh. Oh, man. <laughs> a massage would be great, lady, but you seem to forget that I'm made out of chitin. About the only place you could effectively massage would be my face, and I don't think I need that. <laughs> yes, and there too. But, ugh, I'm too tired for that, and I'm sure you are too. Mm. <sighs> Tell you what, since we got rested up a little bit, you should go take a bath. Not saying that you stink or anything, but it'll be nice and relaxing. You know, I could join you if you wanted. Not in the water, I, you know how I feel about water, but I could help. <laughs> no, no funny business. Well, I may respectfully request to wash the girls, but that's more stress relief for me than anything. Well, as long as you think about it. And if you want to take a bath by yourself, that's fine. I mean, we spend basically every waking second together. I'd understand if you wanted a break. The bath is kind of your refuge away from me. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not implying that you don't like spending time with me. I'm just saying, you know. Everybody wants some alone time from time to time. I get mine whenever I go off scouting. And I mean, I guess you get that time too. But still, you know, whatever. All right, I'll come in with you, but only if you really want me to. And not just because I asked. All right. Oh, just give me a second. You go ahead in. I'm really tired, but watching you undress might... You, you know, go get ready, and then I'll, I'll be in there. Decent in there? Or, well, indecent, I guess. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Look, I'm only this confident around you. And that's what we've been walking around together for four months now. Maybe after another year or so, I'll be this confident, like, all the time. Well, maybe not all the time. Most of the time. So, can I help you wash up? Great. Come here. Let me just... Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, I think I'm just going to bury my head in your hair and go back to sleep. Mm. I know, I know, I've got a job to do. I'm just really tired. Okay. 
Where's that bar of soap? We probably need a new one by now. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's get those shoulders clean. You know, lady, we've been walking around Safina for a long time now. I know we still haven't seen all of it, but you ever think about going somewhere else? Yeah, as long as we don't go south. The farther we stay from Arachnia, the better. There's so many other interesting places we haven't been yet anyway. You know, we could go up north to the coast, maybe catch a boat. See what's going on out in the water. Nah, of all the things I'm scared of, the sea, surprisingly, isn't one of them. I think it's kind of romantic, actually. Well, I mean, not the sea itself, but just the idea of us going out there, striking out on our own, be like a whole new world. Be really interesting. Well, whatever. I don't really care what we do as long as we're together. Do you want to get your, um... Oh, I can, really? Ah, you are the best, lady. Like, the best, ever. I'm just going to keep rambling, though, because if I dwell on this, we're going to have another issue entirely. You know, I haven't asked you too much about the stuff that you did before we met. I mean, I know a lot about you. Just not your past. Is there anything from back then that you're... I don't know, like running away from? Oh, I, I, I don't ask for any reason, it's just, you've never brought it up, so I assumed maybe there was something touchy? No. Oh, well that's good. Me. <laughs> well, I mean, you already know that I ran away from my biggest problem. Um, you know, I guess I can tell you a little bit about what my life was like before I left, if you really want to know. All right, then. Um, well, I, um, I was the, um, sixth child that my mother had. Uh, they were all sisters. I have a, a lot of sisters. I probably have even more now. Um, it's pretty rare for boys to be born, just in general, with our species. That's probably why there's so few of us, you know, between that and the lovely ritual that we've discussed before. Uh, there just aren't too many of us, which is probably for the best. My mother, um, I, uh, didn't know my mother too well. Well, she didn't really want much to do with me. She didn't really want much to do with any of us. She was very busy a lot of the time. My older sisters would help her with her work, but the rest of us mainly just kept to ourselves. <laughs> Except one, though. Yeah. My, um, my big sister, that was, um, two children before me. Kalina. She was 
the most wonderful person in my life for the longest time. And I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss her terribly. She basically raised me. Like I said, Mother didn't really want anything to do with me, or any of us. And everybody pretty well raised themselves, but... Kalina always had a soft spot for me. She took very good care of me. Made sure I was always fed. Made sure I always had someone to play with. The few times that I spent any real time with Mother, I could tell that she wasn't very fond of Kalina. She considered her unarachne-like, which I guess means not being a cold, calculating predator. Don't get me wrong, though. Kalina was really scary when she got mad. But I wasn't really afraid of her. She was probably the only person in my life that I wasn't afraid of until you came along. Something about the way that she looked at me. It just seemed genuine. There was love in her eyes. When anyone else in the house looked at me, it was like I was being tolerated. And like I've said in the past, it's not like I was abused. Neglected is probably the right word, but I'm sure a lot of people had it worse. Oh, the house that we lived in. Yeah, um, I had a really nice little room. And, uh, mine was a bit smaller, because, uh, well, um, I guess I've never really talked about it. Girl arachnids are quite a bit bigger than I am. They're just bigger and more dangerous in general. My sisters, especially ones that were fully grown, all towered over me. My mother was even bigger than they were. Kalina was bigger than me, too, but since she wasn't that much older, it wasn't that much of a difference. Maybe her personality just made her seem smaller. I don't know. But, yeah, I had a nice little room, and um, I was allowed to wander around the house and explore. It was a very, very old place, carved into a tree, if you'd believe it. So there were a lot of things to explore. Oh, no, I, um, I wasn't allowed to leave. But I <laughs> guess I broke that rule, huh? No, it, it wasn't so bad. If I would have gone out, I probably would have just gotten killed or something anyway. Oh, I imagine the water's starting to get cold. We should probably get you out. Um, whenever you get dried off, can I brush your hair? I know you're particular about it, but I... I really think it's beautiful, and I love handling it. I promise I'll be extra gentle. Oh, you're so good to me, lady. Can I have a kiss? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think it's very fair that you get to be so good at fighting and kissing. <laughs> I guess I'm thankful that you're teaching me both. You know, that makes me wonder, where did you learn to kiss if you're always walking around alone? When you were younger? Hmm. Wait a minute, don't tell me it was that wolf guy, please. Oh, thank God. Somebody from the academy, though? <laughs> you had a crush? It's kind of hard to imagine you fawning over somebody, lady. I mean, I know how we are together, but I wouldn't exactly call you head over heels for me. No, I'm not saying that you don't love me very much. I'm saying that you're very measured. Like when you fight. 
you know, you're very calculated, very smart, very strong. And in our relationship, you are the same way. Maybe not quite as calculating, but you're reserved and you don't spoil me. But whenever you are affectionate with me, it's powerful and it has a lot of meaning. I have to admit, for most of my life, I didn't think anybody loved me. Kalina certainly did, but once I left, I was so alone. I was alone for so long that I forgot what it was like to be valued. Not just loved, but acknowledged. And then you came along and... Well, you know what happened after that. I just want to thank you for loving me. Not just loving me, but loving me so dearly. I couldn't possibly ask for a more perfect partner <laughs> in combat and in life. Hey, lady? Um... <laughs> Never mind. I love you so, so much.